Hey there, folks. We so appreciate you joining us here for some of your day on CBS News 24-7. I'm Errol Barnett. And I'm Lana Zach. Here's a look at the top stories we're following for you right now. Student protests grow more violent at college campuses across the country, with police removing pro-Palestinian encampments from campuses. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken delivers a strong message to Israel, saying the time for a ceasefire is now. And stubborn inflation weighs on the Federal Reserve as policymakers decide what to do with interest rates. And coming up for you all later this hour, one of the nation's most strict abortion laws takes effect in Florida, while some lawmakers in Arizona push to repeal a near-total ban written in the 1800s. And the G7 has agreed to stop using coal as a power source in about 10 years. We're going to dig into the impact that this move is expected to have on the global environment. Protests are underway right now on college campuses across the country. And that's despite police clearing out several encampments on school grounds overnight. And we've seen demonstrations from coast to coast. Scuffles broke out between police and protesters at the University of Wisconsin in Madison this morning. That standoff follows violent clashes that erupted on the campus of UCLA between rival demonstrators Tuesday night. And roughly 300 people have been arrested overnight in New York City. Police were called to respond to protests on Columbia University's campus as pro-Palestinian demonstrators occupied one of the school's main halls. Additional arrests were made at a city college just a few blocks away. Our Lilia Luciano is at Columbia University following all of this for us. Lilia, you've been there since last night. What's the situation on the ground like now? Well, right now, Lana, Errol, the situation